Hi Aries, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your December 4th weekly reading. 2017, yet another bonus. I'm not sure if I'm gonna to continue to do these, but it appears as though people are enjoying them. So thank you for your uh, feedback, your input, your readings, your subscribing, your sharing, and your liking. It is all greatly appreciated and I am honored to help guide others in my path. So thank you for being in my path with me, as well as I with you. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to express and explain, because I like to do a small enormous spread before I film the videos to kind of get an overall energy. And then I do some clarifying with the Rider Waite deck. So I'm gonna kind of go over, <clears throat> pardon me, whose energies these are. If they apply to you, great. If not, maybe you need to go to and listen to your rising or your moon sign video. But, um, and sometimes they're just not your energy, but it's amazing to me how many people do connect. So, you know, if these aren't your energies, you can email me personally at josiek42 at gmail.com and we can work out a personal read. Uh, I am probably in the beginning of the year going to raise for sure my regular video readings five dollars so they'll be 45 instead of five only because um, well I finally took that really difficult step that a lot of people were choosing and that was to let go of a business that I've been with for a very long time to do this here with you and because of the beautiful messages afterwards that's when confirmation came for me that I had made the right choice so again your support has meant the world thank you and let's move on so Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because this is general. The card representing the entire five card Lenormand spread in front of me is the mountain. So sometimes this could be that you're contemplating or thinking about a person who has dark hair. Um, it may be that you're going to visit over the holidays someone who lives near um, some mountains. But a lot of times it makes me think, because of the darkness of the card, that there could be... A situation where someone, one Aries, whoever's energies these are, are at a point where they can decide to take a very difficult path or not this week. All right, so prior to the mountain card, we have the house and the bouquet. So this is beautiful. This is changes going on at home, receiving maybe gifts and um, surprises, happiness celebrating happiness and at the end of the week we see someone coming in or a message coming in and the message is coming in very quickly and you're going to be given the key to success so what it is you guys have been waiting to hear about someone you've been waiting to see um, that you've wanted to succeed if if <laughs> with and about let's let's just continue so I asked spirit to clarify the rider and the key and they brought in the ace of swords and the king of swords so it could be that some of you are contemplating a brand new path and it's a difficult path because it's the ace of swords but it's a blessing from heaven nonetheless it's a difficult path because it has two blades one blade is the excitement of the new path this blessing and the other side of the blade is having to cut away from the um, familiar. So you have the King of uh, Swords energies here at this time to really be clear about your decisions and to explain to others your truth. Do you want them in your path or do they do you not? Do you want this message, this opportunity in your path? Do you not? Do you want maybe someone who has air in their chart in your path or not? Which would be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, Spirit saying it all comes down to balance. So Aries, think about if it, if there's equal give and take in this situation. Could be a business offer easily because of all the coins I see here. Um, so at some point, maybe in the middle of the week, you're wanting to hop, skip, and jump and take a risk to go towards fulfillment of sorts. And this is great fulfillment. This is contentment. This is family, friends, pets, babies, grandparents, whoever, and, you know, a happily ever after with plenty of prosperity. No wonder you want to hop, skip, and jump. 
because you guys are going to be hearing about a message or an opportunity that you've been waiting to come in for a very long time. And it's just finally arriving. Look at this. And what's arriving? Success. So with the truth swords, it could be some of you are going to court or have been in a situation with someone where you're trying to receive justice and this wonderful blessing comes in for you that maybe you didn't even think was going to happen because it was taking so much time. Now for other Aries, we have you looking at a new exciting path that has to do with career and or finances. This is a blessed path as well from the universe. But the foundation of that is Spirit's way of saying, be careful. Not all paths need to be walked. Sometimes we are tested. So it's important to manifest what is best for your family at this time and be careful of people who may come into your family space that have ulterior motives because they're going to mess up your thoughts. Right when you have these good surprises happening. So it's just a little bit of a warning. I mean, it isn't as major as it sounds. I feel like somebody's just going to kind of disrupt you and you're going to be like, ugh, I don't have time for that right now. So in the first week and a half to two weeks, you've got the nine of swords. So let go of whatever it was that used to keep you sad and down. Uh, maybe in the beginning of the week, you hear information that bums you out. Because someone is closed off or some money doesn't appear to be available. Wow. Have the energy of the strength card to make a decision and to let something go that has kept you depressed. Things will move forward quickly and the temperance angel will help you to heal as you focus on this new direction, which I'm feeling is a new job or a home business or even a move. But I want more clarity when it comes to this lover's card. Spirit, please, with the Lenormand deck, please clarify the lover's card in the first couple few days of the week. Domestic friend. Staying at home, connecting to society somewhat, but brushing away with the broom card energies, any guilt and shame, and coming back into contentment. So deciding who needs to stay in the friend zone and who it is you're devoting your heart to, Aries. In the next two, three, four days, we have the ending of a difficult path. Amen. Lay it down, let it go. It's over. You have the chariot energies that are saying to you at the chariot card, it's time to take these steps in a new direction. It's start to, time to get moving. And even though you're not sure exactly where these new steps are going to lead you, it's the energy of putting each step in front of the other to achieve success because this chariot is leading you towards success. So know that you have the major arcana judgment there to help you to make the right choices this week because an offer may come in, but it may be small. It may be new, it may never grow. And Spirit's saying, continue to set goals and go after what it is that you want. You've been a, down a difficult path or a long path and you've learned a lot and now you may take one of these two keys and step into a brand new path. And this new path is being blessed to you from the universe. It's either a very passionate path, like a creative, passionate thing you're really, really into, or a new opportunity when it comes to career and finances. So let go of all pain and anguish from the past. You are now a stronger person. And when you stand tall in your own two feet, especially when it comes to whoever's energies these are related to court, spirits saying that with the Nine of Cups, your wishes will come true. Here, justice is in your favor. This is a major arcana, so Spirit's going to assist you with cutting things, people, situations, and circumstances out of your life path so that you can find balance in your path once again. This situation could have to do with children, and I do see an emperor. Could be a judge. Could be things moving quickly. Spirit's saying slow down, though. Don't, don't rush in. 
Take some time to think things through. Some of you are putting your a lot of energy into a connection, and that connection is over. It could have been like a flirtation thing. If you're single, of course, it could have been, um, yeah, definitely a temptation of a person. And that person is just not good for you. I don't even want to go into those energies. Yeah, you're fantasizing about something from a distance. So that's when you need to get focused again on, if I'm bored, I'm going to start a project. I'm going to start a hobby. I'm going to start a small business on the internet because there's a gazillion platforms by which I can do that for free. So Spirit's offering you the star card, which is a major arcana, to hope, wish, and pray on a star. And they want to help you to manifest that wish, but they want you to be careful exactly what it is that you wish for. Because you could wish somebody to come back into your life, but they're going to come back in in a way that may be disruptive. So, yeah, maybe it's best to sit there feeling stuck and not wanting to take a step in any direction. But I think it's best to sit there and really think about letting some sort of heartache go. For some of you, this may be when it comes to a connection of someone in a business leadership and or someone who has the characteristics of an earth sign or an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You're stepping into a new path, and that path for some of you, Aries, is a very beautiful path when it comes to finances and career. You're going to be receiving a lot of recognition for a job well done. You may be contemplating offers or opportunities at a distance. But that's where it comes down to our human decisions. We get to choose whatever this is and how it applies to each of our paths. Um, what is best not only for us, but for those around us. So it's a good week to think about what would Jesus do in this situation. Okay. So for spiritual advice, real quick. Yes. You guys are, somebody's confused and worried about a person who makes them feel good about themselves, but who's truly sneaky and dishonest inside. All right, so Angel Answers Deck by Doreen Virtue. Whoa, something better. There's something better. Reconsider something when it comes to romance. So if somebody's been listening for that message... And you've been wondering if you're content where you're at or you need to move forward. It's time to reconsider and take some time out for the next week anyway. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Aries with clearly defined messages of spiritual guidance now on into and through the week of December 4th, 2017. So you guys are going to come to a peaceful resolution. Maybe you've already found that. You're at home. You've got beautiful surroundings. You are doing what it is you like to do at home. There are wonderful, beautiful surprises starting to take place. And Spirit's saying continue to stay in touch with your angels because they want to guide you. Because the mountain is coming, right? Or the mountain is the issue. Do I want to choose a difficult path ahead? And Spirit's saying it's unlikely that that will transpire and hopefully you're thinking that it is unlikely that it will work in your path now in your foundation they're telling you that something may take place a year from now so we'll confirm and clarify in a minute in the recent past you had a no again we'll clarify and in the next two to three weeks we have listened to your intuition that's when we communicate with spirit that's why they're saying prayer right now is going to help with a peaceful resolution now in the next four to six, seven days. We've got you choosing a new direction. You have control over. Are you happy where you're at or do you want to go somewhere else with your life path? Whether it's love, whether it's work. You know, people are like, is this always about love? No, if it's not about love for you, then this is about career. So it's easy to say, well, I have a peaceful resolution with someone. I need to pray about something because I'm hoping for something, but it's mostly unlikely. It might take place a year from now. In the past, they, I got a no, but now I'm praying and I'm listening to spirit for guidance so I can choose a new direction. And spirit is telling you now will be the perfect, or in the next four to six days, seven days will be perfect timing. What you are expecting is probably unlikely, but they're guiding you to what is correct. And they're hoping that you'll get, that everything will come through to perfect timing, but they need you to listen to them. So, you know, it's about connecting to spirit and listening. 
in your hopes and fears, we've got remain positive. So you're hoping to remain positive, listening to your intuition, contemplating a new direction, and then a year from now, something may take place. Now, in your outcome position, Spirit's saying, if you believe, you will achieve. In a three-card summary to my right, in the first couple of days, Spirit's saying compromise. Compromise is what's going to maintain a peaceful resolution as you're praying and connecting to your angels. About what? About taking action. So however taking action that you've wanted to do, whether it's love or money, that's what they're referring to. There's no need to worry about anything. Hand all your worries up to spirit, knowing that they have heard you and they will bring in what it is you're concerned about. Now, for some of you, not all of you, it is about romance, reconsidering something in romance. But in the next two to three weeks, they are saying success. We'll have to clarify. They're saying there will be helpful people when it comes to success. But in the meantime, it may be important to improve your health and just trust in spirit. So there's a lot here. In other words, some of you are really needing spirit's guidance to get in the right direction here. You may have come off your path a little bit, but I think you're going to be okay in the end. Oh, yeah, because in the end, look at this. In the next five, four to seven days, there's abundance. Why? Because you meditated and asked spirit for what you wanted. You watched and followed the signs and you came to clarity. And now that you're finding yourself in a contented position, Spirit's saying, don't stop. For some of you, you're on your journey. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. You have lined up for 2018. And um, maybe you've started a new business. Maybe you've been hired by a new business. But look at after shuffling on the bottom of the Rider Waite deck, we have a solid foundation. So this is a new business. This is a home business. This is... Um, uh, moving your home or moving to a new business, putting a lot of work in. Okay, make sure who are the people you're going to work with. You don't have to take the job if it's a job offer that you've been waiting for. Make sure that you stand strong and remain positive and believe in yourself. If you choose a new direction, if you don't, however it applies. Now, when this comes to love, spirit sane. There will be success for someone here. And between the two of you and meditation and perfect timing, so this is going to involve patience. I'm surprised we haven't seen that card. Um, they're just saying don't stop. So again, in the right direction. So I want to clarify real quick with the Gilded Tarot deck. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, Aries, please. December 4th, week of December 4th, 2017. Thank you. All right, so we have the Magician. All right, so somebody may have been really tricky. Somebody may have been very manipulative. Or Spirit saying, you know, yeah, that's exactly what I'm feeling, actually. Come to a peaceful resolution with someone that you're starting to see the truth behind. You're starting to understand the tricks they play. And then in the uh, crossed position, ask your angels to help you to release and to heal and to forgive from pain from the past. Don't drag dark negative energies with you at this time through this week. Something is unlikely. So maybe you got attention before and you were hoping that attention was still going to come your way and it's not happening. That, I feel, is tied to romance. Now, in your foundation, we've got a year from now. Okay, Making a decision, not being able to make a decision. Not having enough information to make that decision or not wanting to make the decision. There's a lot of frustration and anguish and too much thinking about something and spirits saying no in the next couple few weeks they're saying listen to your intuition we're trying to guide you to the right path and you're going to know it when you see it and feel it because you have the fool card energy so you're going to get very excited about a new path and you're going to want to take some sort of risk so here they're saying a year from now but it's like this decision could be made as soon as i shouldn't have said two to three weeks sorry two to three days which is fascinating so in the next four to six days, pardon me if I say weeks, I mean days, I'm not used to these. Uh, choose a new direction. It's up to you. These are the energies that are available to you. 
somebody's not going to accept an offer or you're going to have gone through maybe two or three offers of sorts before that magical one is handed to you from the heavens. So be, be peaceful. Maybe it'll take you a year as you're listening to your intuition to really follow and find the direction that makes you most content. This could be a, a healing process this year. Um, even just because from this week, I'm getting that feeling. All right, so Spirit saying choose a new direction. If anybody feels like they have not been in a fair and balanced situation, again, with work, you're not receiving your pay and it's not equal and you don't feel recognized or whatever, um, it's perfect timing to move on. If you're in a relationship and um, it's not balanced, then maybe it's time to move on. Now, I'm not saying that to everybody. I'm not even implying that. I'm saying with these energies, if there's a person who's contemplating that situation, then write me for a personal reading, okay? There's also perfect timing for someone to give you money. If you've been waiting for money, I feel that with this card. So what could happen here diagonally is unlikely that someone might give you the attention that you were hoping for. Maybe not recognition at a job you were hoping for and you're starting to understand that they're just manipulative and that instead of getting angry, you're going to come to a peaceful resolution and you are going to let go of the negativity. Make a choice of how you're going to move forward and listen to your intuition. As you pray, a message will come quicker than you expect. If you pray. If you don't pray, it may not come at all. So in the next four to six weeks, there's an opportunity to choose a new direction. And you may be cautious about this new direction because you've maybe been through a few different tries in your time. But Spirit's saying it'll all equal out according to perfect timing. If you listen to your intuition, you will see the right path. You'll feel it. You'll know it in the next two to three days. All right, so hopes and fears. Remain positive that you will find that soul connection. Now this could be a soul connection to career and finances, or it could be a soul connection to another person, though I don't see a person really here. I see a choice maybe between two people. And they're just saying remain positive. That's it. In the next week, just remain positive. Some of you may be still mourning something from the past. And Spirit's saying that if you believe, Spirit's going to provide for you through prayer a beautiful new path. With not just one cup if you're lonely. There's two there overflowing with abundance and prosperity and love. But you have to turn around and recognize it. You have to leave behind what no longer serves you. There's no need to worry. You're, you're rising to a higher level spiritually. There will be success if you come to the realization that someone's either being really greedy with their money or they're just a selfish personality and um, get more information. At some point, you will move ahead towards abundance. You're going to go around this person or you're just going to ignore this person and move in your own direction. But meditation is going to help for you to be clear about exactly what it is you want and to stand in your own two feet when it has to uh, come to, you know, abundance and someone who's not sharing Look at how that sword guy is looking at the king or this guy who's holding onto the coins. He's just completely not impressed with that. So you're above that. And because you are whoever this is, you're going to be stepping into a much more solid foundation. You've learned something and now a wish can come true. But of course, as you step into something new, this could be financially. You have to let the old fall away, okay? Because you can't drag negative energies with. Yeah. Oh, and if it's a person, I see fantasy, I see lust, I see trying to manifest a new path, I see confusion, I see sneakiness, I see drinking. Okay, so whoever that was for, some of that needs to, you know, be focused on. All right, so... To close, I'm going to just play with my new oracle of the Mermaid's Card by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm just going to ask Spirit to provide, to close with a message for those who have a sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Aries for the week of December 4th, 2017. Thank you. Wow, perfect. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? I hope you can see. For those of you who can't, it's the best I can do for now. 
but you can help uh, down here at PayPal me at Josie K42 you can make donations and maybe I can buy a camera all right adrift letting go allowing a higher force to take charge for a time all right so that what you've been worrying about how about this week we just kind of remain positive and know that spirit's going to work everything out in a balanced way according to perfect timing by the end of the week. Thank you again for stopping by my channel. I hope to hear from you soon. If uh, I don't hear from you, you'll hear from me. If not before the new year, then shortly thereafter. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Take care and God bless.